Hi everybody, it's Chrissy Brady Smith from Chengdu, Bali. I'll be here for another like three and a half weeks, maybe four weeks. I love it here. So today's video is a really authentic expression of where I've been at as a wild woman, and it's kind of the dark side of the wild woman, and it's what I've been facing just as a woman in general, and it's having to do with body shame. So I've had this love-hate relationship with my stomach for many, many years now, ever since I was 13, where when I look in the mirror, I just see this line right below my navel that tells me that I don't have a good stomach and therefore I am not beautiful. That's the story that happens. Logically, I know this isn't true. I really trust that I'm beautiful and I'm healthy and that's all that matters, but every once in a while, this shame spiral shows up, especially while in Bali, where I wear a swimsuit 90% of the time. So I wanna tell you in real time how I deal with this trigger so you can move through any body shame that you might be experiencing. So the first step is to get curious about it. When the trigger comes up, when the thought comes up, like I'm ugly, I don't wanna be seen, follow it back. Follow it back to the first time you felt that way. For me, it was when I was 13 and I went through puberty and someone pointed out that I had this line on my stomach. I told myself I was ugly after that. The next reason this is important to get curious about is because for me, I discovered that, hello, of course, this shame, this shadow is showing up now because I'm really stepping into the light as a Celebration of Women certified facilitator. I'm gonna be certified in September to take on this workshop that I've been training to lead for three years. And a huge portion of that workshop is about supporting women and loving and accepting their bodies exactly as they are now. And we do some really, really deep body healing there. So no wonder I'm facing this now. I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I loved my body exactly as it was. You know, that's what I've been sharing at all these workshops. But here I am at Bali, really quiet and still and peaceful, and I'm finally feeling the things that I was too busy to feel back at home. Interesting, huh? Okay, so first step, get curious. Next step, feel it. Close your eyes and feel the feelings associated with it. Allow it, lean into it, welcome it. Notice the thoughts and judgments that you're telling yourself without getting hooked by them, and then after you've done about 15 minutes of this, open your eyes and physically feel the part of your body that you've been judging or criticizing. And with your senses, notice how it feels, the texture, the temperature of it, how it feels against your fingers, and then touch it in a way that it wants to be touched and needs to be touched and offer it some healing. This returns you to your body and to your senses and your senses always move through suffering. Your senses outweigh the crazy judgments of the mind. The senses are real. Okay, and then the next step is to, let's see, I had four steps here. Oh, release it. I've been going to kundalini yoga and all these other crazy kind of active yoga classes where you shake and you let out all these sounds. Huge, important Thing. When you've been carrying any shame, any emotion that doesn't really serve you, that's kind of locked in your body, it could be anger, it could be rage, it could be shame, you got to get it up and out of your body. So you can shake it out, you can dance it out, you can go to yoga, you can chant it out, let it go. And then the final step is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for feeling this way, honoring that, hey, I'm feeling this because I'm feeling this. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad facilitator. It means that I'm human and that's okay. And that's my sweet little message for you on how to heal body shame in real time from a woman who's dealing with it. <laughs> you might not think I'm dealing with it and I am. So that's it. I love you and have an amazing day.